Alex, Ben, an important win tonight, 5-4 over the Bristol Pitbulls. Give us your thoughts. Yeah, obviously delighted to get the two points. Credit to Bristol, they're a great young team and obviously a mixture of some real experience uh, and some great young talent, which is great for English ice hockey. But um, I think we started well and then they came back with a big push and and we could have gone two ways. You know, after the five defeats on the bounce, we could have, you know, our heads could have dropped after the second, but I think we came back and played really well in the third. I think we finally got some shots in the third as well, which was good to see, which we asked for. And yeah, delighted to get the train rolling again. We said also the second period was a bit of a turning point. Bristol really put their foot down, came out in the end with a 4-3 lead. What was said in the change room between the second and third, obviously? Can't say that room. over the, uh, I can't <laughs> say that on a, on a video, but, we, but, it, but it, was, it was a firm, you know, our expect, of, of the expectations. I think some home truths, I think. Yeah, I it. mean, you know, we, we, at the start, it was more about trying to get guys a bit more confident and really, you know, um, feeling, feeling good and... At the end of the second, we, we completely forgot it. You know, in the second period, we weren't doing what we'd asked. And um, I spoke to some of the guys, I spoke to the coaching team, the players that weren't playing, and we changed it up. You know, we moved Wedge up and uh, moved the third around a little bit, and um, we got the result that we wanted because we ended up, you know, out shooting them and ultimately getting the win. As I say, a big third period in the end, out shooting them 20 to 6 in the end, in a period that was basically dominated for the entire first round against Dan and Pitbull's end. And also a big game winning goal for the man who stood to your right, Ben Lock. Yeah, it's becoming a habit, isn't it, a little bit? Um, yeah, we worked really hard in the third period. So we generated our own chances. I think we solidified our own zone. We worked on our face, defensive face-offs. And yeah, the goal, again, as I said the last time I had to do this, was Marza calling that everyone just to be calm. And we just played some really nice plays. Actually, we could have scored three or four at one point. And yeah, it was a bit of a muffin, but I'm so glad it went in. Yeah, awesome. no, it was good. It was good. Obviously, you're known more for your shot blocking and penalty killing side of the yeah. game. Um, it's always nice to see on the game sheet. Obviously, as Alex said, after five straight losses, yeah. as a D man, obviously, how important is it just to finally eke out a win? Sort of? It's massively, but it's massively important for morale as well, because obviously, you go through a rut, and we haven't been through a rut in years. We've always been consistently very good, um, so this is really good. We're going to take it into tomorrow. You know, we've been there, we've dominated at times, and last time we were there, we won on the overtime. So. They're going to have a point to prove, but we're coming with confidence, so very excited. Uh, ben Sutton there, Alex. Uh, the Chelsea Chieftains tomorrow, obviously last time, arguably, possibly the most memorable victory the Devils have ever had. You getting a game-time goal at 59-59 and all that. It's a very different Chieftains team we're facing tomorrow. Uh, a team that's on a bit of form itself in terms of home games. They've scored double digits in two of the last three. What does the team have to do for tomorrow? <coughs> It's actually a, a sort of a reflection of what you just said there for most teams in the league. You know, those that with the budgets are able to that were able to strengthen, um, and that they have got a strong, stronger team. That said, um, we're confident. You know, we know that Chelmsford's a good rink, and we know that they're a good team, and that it's nice to play there. Um, the, the neutral zone is a bit difficult for us to pick up, but it's just like the teams coming here and getting used to our rink. And I think once we get used to the big. Um, offensive and defensive zones, then um, you know we, we find ourselves into games. What we can't do is do what we did last time and find ourselves four or five goals behind, because that won't happen again. You know that's a once in a in a lifetime yeah. thing where you're five one down with five, ten minutes to go and, it, and we somehow pull that back. But we've got a big squad now. You know we've got guys still out. We're still missing Pitsy. We're still missing Mitchell. We're missing Prella Fox. We're missing Duffy. But it's great to see that everyone's coming up. It was good to see the NHL two guys out there again today. Um, and we're rolling, you know, a lot, of, a lot of guys, which meant that we were a bit fitter today, which we're going to need tomorrow. So we're going to go there with confidence, but we know it's a tough ask. But um, we're confident we'll come away with with some points. Alex, Ben, let you go. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much.